hey, I made the Dream Radar Cart Redirect patch, and I've noticed a lot of people have problems getting it to work. Maybe you're just not quite sure what to do. So I wanted to create a video guide people can follow along with and easily and quickly get this set up and have fun with your game. If you're not quite sure what this patch does or what Dream Radar is, Dream Radar is a game you install digitally onto your 3DS, and it's this like augmented reality mini game where you can catch Pokemon, including level five legendaries, which is pretty darn cool. And if you have a black to or white two cartridge physically inserted into your 3DS, you can transfer the Pokemon you've caught from Dream Radar to your Gen 5 game. I travel frequently, so as often as possible, I try to make sure that my games are digitally installed on whatever consoles I have so that I don't have to lug a bunch of cartridges around. Whenever NDS Bootstrap came out with some pretty solid Gen 5 support, I immediately moved my games and my saves to my SD card. Unfortunately, that also meant that I could no longer transfer my level five legendaries to my games. So I created a patch that redirects reading and writing from the cartridge to the save file on my SD card. So if you don't have my patch and you don't have a black to or white two cartridge physically inserted into your 3DS, and you try to send research data, which is the Pokemon that you've caught, It'll tell you, here you can send data to black to a white to, and then it says black to or white to is not inserted, and it returns you to the title screen. So my patch is going to fix this. Here's the GitHub repository, and if we scroll down, we see some usage instructions. Step one, download and unzip the zip file from the latest releases. Typically, if there's a GitHub repository with some type of patch or software you want to use, the person who made it has also already built the software in the patch for you, and you just need to download it. You don't usually have to build it yourself. If that's the case, there should be a releases button right here that you can click. That'll bring you to the releases page, and at the very top is the latest release. And then you can click patches.zip in this repository to download the patches. Once you've done that, unzip it. You'll get this out folder. And in there, you'll have three other folders, one for transporter, dream radar, and Japanese Dream Radar. So for Dream Radar, we'll have two patches, one for black two and one for white two. Great. Step one is done. We've downloaded it, we've unzipped it. Step two, copy the IPS patch you want to your SD card. Where we copy the patch depends on the game we're playing. For Pokemon Dream Radar, we'll want to copy it to this location. So this is my 3DS SD card. I have the Luma folder, and in there I have titles. If you don't have Luma or titles, create it. In there, we'll have this game ID that we can get from the GitHub repository. And again, if this does not exist, create it. After that, copy from the patch that you want into that folder, and then rename it to code.ips. Once you're done, you should have this. This is what your setup should look like. Cool. Step two is now complete. Step three, ensure you have a save file at one of these locations. Dream Radar only plays with white 2 or black 2, so we want to make sure that one of these save files exists. For me, I have ROMs, NDS, saves, white 2. ROMs, NDS, saves, white 2. Perfect, I'm all set. If you're using Twilight Menu, this is going to mean having a game at ROMs, NDS, white 2.NDS, or ROMs, NDS, black 2.NDS. The last step, this is only if you're playing on a physical 3DS and not Citra, ensure that you have game patching enabled. You can do this by holding down the select button while booting the console, and then you'll get uh, into the, three, the, the Luma 3DS configuration menu. From there, enable game patching, save your settings, and you're all set. If you want to play on Citra, right-click on Pokemon Dream Radar and click Open Mods Location. And if you copy your patch here, rename it to code.ips, and you should be all good to go. Awesome, so now, if we launch the game, and we click on send research data. We'll see the same thing before. From here, you're able to send research data to black to a white to, except this time, we won't get the message that says a cartridge is not inserted. The patch makes the game look for the save file, and if the save file exists, then the game thinks that a cartridge is physically inserted. So now we can click transfer. I'm getting a message here that says research data must be received before new transfer data or research data is sent. Because uh, on this save, I have not yet received my research data from the last time I transferred. So if you accidentally haven't received your data and you try to transfer anyways, don't worry, the data will not get overwritten. Now here's one other cool thing. 
let's say that you don't have the save file in the correct place or the save file is named incorrectly. If you try to send the research data, it thinks that you took out the game. So you'll get the same message before where it says black to or white to is not inserted. Right? If we name it uh, back to what it was before, we try to send the research data, boom. We are no longer going to get that same message. So that's it. That's how you install it. That's how the patch works. That's how you use it. If anyone is interested in a technical explanation of how the patch actually works, let me know. I'd be happy to make a video for that as well. But otherwise, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a lot of fun with your games.